Yo, what's up guys, Sijiko Golan here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best deck with the Witch in the new meta, which is actually a very good card in the current meta. Why? Because there's a lot of people running the Cannoneer. Wait, where do I... Yeah, there you go, there's the Cannoneer. I'm also gonna be running Cannoneer in this deck because Cannoneer is very good against troops with high HP or even mid HP, like for example, wall breakers, bombers, stuff like that. But it's not that great against spammy cards and that's exactly why we're running it with the witch we have double spell we have both the evil set plus the arrows and then we also of course have the bowler which is also a very good card against the spam so cannoneer isn't really good against this deck it does depend on the um, yeah, cycle in this case he does have fire spirit if he also has a poison quick cycle drill deck it's not the easiest matchup but in general we do have a lot of cards which are very annoying for him and just um yeah now that he spends the poison I think it's a good moment for us to go with Graveyard here towards the right side. Graveyard like this is even a good play against Cannoneer. Against Princess Tower you would never, but specifically against Cannoneer because the Skeletons are just so good against um, yeah, the Cannoneer, as you guys can see, getting a lot of damage already. It's actually a good play. In these type of situations when you're facing Cannoneer, where you know that he doesn't have, um, yeah, for example, his Poisoning Cycle, you can go aggressively without, for example, having the Giant Tanking. I guess it really does depend on the matchup and the situation. Um, if it's a princess tower, I would rather recommend using the giant to tank and then graveyard afterwards. Okay, let's go arrows here. Let's also go with um, bets as soon as possible. Bowler is gonna get a lot of value. And then how is he gonna defend this? I think he doesn't have that much elixir. The giant is still alive. Those bets are also gonna get a little bit of chip damage. And in this case, he goes with a um, yeah, ghost, but it wasn't really necessary. Anyways, the damage was already dealt. And here we can just go with some guards to try and defend as good as possible. Hopefully those wall breakers. I'm gonna zap just to yeah, try and defend. Nice. Okay, the zap was definitely necessary. If we didn't zap, that would have been a big connection by um, yeah by him with those wall breakers. Okay, so Cannoneer does a really good job against the bomber. We don't really need to defend the bomber. And here I'm just gonna go bowler off to the side and try to defend as good as possible and make sure I play it far enough where he can't um, yeah get splash damage with, for example, the bomber or in this case a fire spirit. Okay, looking very good, guys. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go Graveyard. He does go with Poison. It's still worth it to Graveyard. Why? Because in this case, it's going to distract the Cannoneer. Well, the Bowler might be able to get on top of the Tower. And in this case, we also force a lot of Elixir. Bowler gets on top of the Tower. I think it's going to be Tower down. Yeah, that's going to be Tower down. So amazing. And here we can just start cycling in the opposite lane. Okay, I'm going to go Bet's right side. Let's see what he's going to do. Looks like he does go with his um, Drill. I'm going to go Guards. And I think I'm just going to ignore it, to be honest. I don't think we need to... Yeah, overspent on the Ghost, we can even take a few hits and then just focus on our push with the Witch we already had on the field on the left side. Okay, perfect. What is he gonna drop? Is he gonna go with Bomber? Um, looks like he goes with a Poison, but it's still gonna be a decent amount of damage delve to his left side tower. Okay, I'm gonna go Bomber here. We do need to watch out. I don't know if he's back. I think he's back to... Um, yeah, Drill already. There you go. He does go with a Drill. Let's go with a Witch like this. And then I'm gonna go with Guards as soon as possible. Nice, the Witch helps out a little bit and it should be... Um, yeah, pretty much a good game. Okay, let's go with bets here. Let's go with Giant. And as you guys can see, this deck has a lot of spammy cards, especially against Cannoneer, which in this case we faced right away. It's amazing. So I think it might even be a 3 count if we're um, yeah, on time. There you go. Very nice 3 count to start off today's episode against, I would say, a really good matchup. Of course, he does have Poison. He does have, um, I think he had Royal Delivery as well, but still a very nice matchup because we just have so many spam Cannoneer, I feel like it's really, well, not necessary matchup dependent, but it is a little bit against some cards. It's just insanely strong and against other cards and other decks, it's just not that strong. Like, for example, now I would never go with Bets at the Bridge because it doesn't make sense. But in this case, he does go with Bets at the Bridge because he knows that the Cannoneer is really bad against it. So I guess it just really depends on the situation, on what um, yeah, matchup uh, you have, etc, etc. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a, a spammy deck. Okay, let's go guards here. And then I think I'm going to go witch here as well. Witch is actually really good against spammy deck. So, yeah, witch should be able to deal a decent job against the, um, the spam he just put. Okay, I'm really tempted to go with giant there. I think we're facing a mega knight deck. But I just don't really, yeah, want to go too aggressive in single elixir. I'd rather try to survive single and then afterwards try to get the damage. Okay, we definitely need to go arrows here. As I said, cannoneer is really bad against spammy cards. Okay, let's go bowler here as well. And then I'm just going to keep elixir for the zap on defense. Okay, nice. The bowler did a good job against the goblin gang. Going to wait. Then I'm going to go zap. And then I think I'm just going to let this be. He already got a lot of damage, to be honest. Okay, he does use the Inferno Dragon. That's a good thing for us. Because whenever he doesn't have Inferno Dragon, I think we might be able to get a lot of um, yeah, value from our giant. Maybe I shouldn't have gone witch this high. Maybe if I went a little bit lower, I would have had enough elixir 
to go with giant up front i don't think now i can get it in front yeah i can definitely not no i don't think i could have okay so i'm just gonna let this be he's doing a good job at pressuring us especially in single elixir this matchup is kind of um yeah annoying i guess you can say but then afterwards in double elixir whenever we get a really good push going i think we should be fine against this deck okay i think i'm gonna have to go arrows on defense i went with guards predicting a minor but he didn't instead he just goes with goblin gang at the bridge okay what is um our push i think our push definitely has to be with the witch like i don't think we should go without the witch to be honest okay i'm gonna go bowler here to keep the evil zap i think we're gonna yeah, need the evil zap against the, um, the what's it called the inferno dragon okay perfect and then i'm just gonna go with our evil bets here okay now is the moment for us to make a huge push i think we survived single elixir not amazingly but at the same time not the worst i think we could have done um yeah way worse for sure okay i'm gonna go zap here then i'm gonna go arrows and then i think i'm just gonna let this be nice okay and now it's time to go on offense let's go giant let's go graveyard i'm gonna go uh, bets here as well he's gonna have to choose to either zap those skeletons or zap the bets in this case if he zaps the bets the skeletons are gonna get a lot of damage which he actually does so that was not the best decision by him and just like that with one good push we already take down his right side tower okay we need to watch out guys because he is gonna go um get yeah, all in right now okay let's go bowler let's go witch here as well we gotta prepare those arrows let's see let's go arrows now very good arrows it's gonna hit everything and i think this should be good game unless something crazy happens um no that's definitely gonna go, uh, be good game only six seconds left we still have the witch there we have the zap as well available if needed but i don't think yeah we don't need to so very nice game there as you guys can see patience is key i didn't try to go aggressive in single elixir at all knowing that single elixir is gonna be yeah where you kind of like need to defend need to survive especially because we have cannon here i feel like this matchup if we have princess tower it would be like a 100-0 matchup but because of the cannon here you need to be very patient very careful and then whenever you have the opportunity to one big push one good push um yeah takes out the tower as you guys can see i do think that he made a big mistake i think he shouldn't have set the bets um i think if he set the skeletons probably wouldn't have been tower down still a lot of damage for sure but definitely not tower down okay hoping to do the next next match looks like this guy's also running cannon here so that's why i do go with bets um get yeah, at the bridge in this situation and he uses the poison okay i think i'm just gonna go graveyard like honestly um whenever they use the poison like that i'm very tempted to go with graveyard we have double spells available in case he has mother witch in this case he goes with guard so oh he does have mother witch okay okay there was not the best arrows but i think we should be fine honestly i think with the bowler here and a good zap on top of those bats we should be able to defend this quite nicely actually okay bowler did be able to hit the wall breakers please tell me that those wall breakers don't connect oh my god both of them connect and unfortunately the mother witch is also outside of the range so i guess i'm just gonna take the one or two shots um yeah from the mother witch in this case one shot okay so interesting matchup i think pretty rough matchup honestly why because he does have poison he has delivery he has mother witch he has a lot of spammy cards and we um get yeah, in the end of the day are also running the cannon here so this is not looking that good but i think it's still winnable i definitely think it's still winnable let's see though let's go guards here on defense let's see what he's gonna drop to um oh he goes with his own guards okay i mean those cards were not the best because our cannon here is gonna help out a little bit and now we can just start our push from the back with a giant here is he gonna go minor i think yeah i was about to say i think he might let's go with witch here off to the side and then hopefully we'll be able to um yeah counter as well those wall breakers please tell me it does there you go nice and then here we can go with a graveyard okay let's go graveyard right away let's see what he's gonna do is he gonna go mother witch okay yeah he just goes mother witch so even though the graveyard like the mother witch is pretty good against the graveyard i think it's still worth it because because it's the cannon here we can uh, afterwards yeah counter those picks with a bowler here it's looking very bad for us but the bowler is actually gonna do a really good job i think nice let's go with zap here afterwards and then afterwards i think we need to probably arrows on defense oh i should have waited a little bit if i waited a little bit with the arrows that definitely would have uh yeah survived in this case the arrows were a little bit too early and that's gonna be towered down so kind of a big mistake by me still not the end of the world i think we can still maybe come back but it's definitely a really rough matchup as you guys can see okay so what are we gonna do i think i'm gonna go giant towards the right side okay he does go with his bowler um or excuse me he does go with his bomb tower i think i'm gonna set up a bowler here towards the right side but we need to go with attack on the left side anytime soon guys yeah i think this is basically lost already Okay, i'm gonna go bets here as well i'm gonna go graveyard but he has poison he has a lot of um yeah troops against this push maybe if the graveyard somehow ends up connecting 200 hp left no that's not gonna be enough right now it's not gonna be enough very unfortunate i think maybe i went a little bit too aggressive with the graveyards 
I was like, okay, I think it's fine. I think the bowler afterwards can get a lot of value, can clean up all those units, but the bowler wasn't quite enough to um, get, get the job done, to get the defeat defense done. But at the same time, I think we yeah, definitely had a chance. And I feel like that's a really, that's like probably one of the hardest matchups you can get. He even had delivery as well. I think if he has poison plus like log, it's going to be much easier. But in this case, I think it's like um, yeah, almost 100-0 matchup. So very nice video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.